Hello and welcome to the third iteration of my automatic smelter. We'll start off by putting four storage adapters on an input box and connecting them all together. You can hold shift to run the pipes along the surface of the box if you want to keep it nice and tidy. Next, put down a combiner and splitter, hook the box into the combiner, the combiner into the splitter, and the splitter back into the combiner. Thank you to Kangarator for showing me this neat trick that doubles your throughput. I've put his YouTube link in the description, so be sure to go check him out. He has some very cool videos on more advanced topics, taking advantage of all the new features that Russ has been getting. If you have 1 to 20 large furnaces, or any amount of small or electric furnaces, put down 3 conveyors. If you have 21 to 30 large furnaces, put down 4. If you have more than 30, you'll need to set up a second automatic smelter. Up on screen, you'll see a simple chart showing how many ore conveyors you need per furnace, then add 2 to that number, one conveyor for wood and one for the ore check. The bottom two or three conveyors will be for feeding wood and ore to the furnaces, while the top conveyor will check the box for ore and turn the wood conveyor on and off for automation. Add one more splitter to output into each of the conveyors. Now we'll set our conveyor filters. Set the bottom one to your ores, and since we're using large furnaces, set with the 22 sulfur, 11 metal, and 6 high qual. Then set the wood conveyor to 12 wood. I'll have a graphic on screen showing you the numbers for each furnace type. This information will also be available in the description. The top filter here will also be set to each ore type, but without the max settings. Connect the bottom conveyors, but not the top one, into a combiner, and daisy chain that through all your furnaces. Add one more conveyor at the end of your furnace chain, connect the last furnace to it, and connect it into an output box. This conveyor's filters can be left blank. Next, we will put down the last few components, a timer and igniter. You can add multiple igniters here by using a splitter after timer, but all my furnaces are within the range of one igniter, so I can plug it in directly. We will now need six total power for this system, four conveyors, a timer, and an igniter. They chain all the conveyors together, then into the timer, and finally into the igniter. Make sure to set the timer to 0.25. Plug the filter pass from the top or check conveyor into the turn on of the wood conveyor, and the filter fail into the turn off. Finally, take the filter passed from the wood conveyor and plug that into the toggle on of the timer. Now all that's left to do is to turn on the conveyors and add resources to the input box. Once you run out of ore, you'll see the wood conveyor turn off and the furnaces all have the exact amount of wood necessary to smelt the remaining ore. If you're using my modular sorting system, you can plug the last furnace directly into the tier 0 buffer box input. Just be wary the buffer box conveyor can only pull from a total of 32 containers and only to a depth of 32 connections. If the amount of furnaces plus drop boxes you have exceeds 32, or the connection depth exceeds 32, you'll need to add an additional conveyor to combine with the buffer box conveyor before going into the buffer box. All the chart information can be found in the description, as well as a link to the restriction diagram for the auto smelter. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in learning more, I do have a playlist including all of my industrial rest tutorial videos. Until next time!